Hello Aries and welcome to your How Do They Feel About You video for April 2018. I woke up yesterday morning to over 10,000 subscribers and I just wanted to um, let you know that I appreciate each and every one of you. That was very exciting. I just... Um, you know, have been on here for three months as of March 27th. So waking up to over 10,000 subscribers is a big deal to me. And I cannot thank you enough, each and every one of you. I, you have made me feel so very blessed. So as usual, Aries, we are going to pick um, a Romance Angels card. And I know a lot of you guys like the, the how do they feel about you videos, so, oops, we're going to pick a card from the Romance Angels and then clarify with the Rider weight. How do they feel about Aries? April 2018. And as always, Aries, if this does not resonate, please check your moon rising and your Venus sign because this isn't going to resonate for every Aries out there. You know, we're all on our different journeys. Aries. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so they want to talk to you. They want you to open up to them and they want to open up to you. Okay, how do they feel about Aries? April 2018. How do they feel about Aries? April 2018. And if this does resonate, Aries, Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love all the comments. There's been very few bad ones lately, hallelujah. <laughs> I just delete them anyway. How do they feel about Aries? April 2018. They are feeling this. This can mean one of two things. They are feeling emotionally drained from the situation and they want to discuss this. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups here water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and they, um, they could be leaving something that is unfulfilling and headed your way. So either or, okay? And they want to, you know, have a heartfelt discussion with you about what they're going through, how they're feeling. So, and they might just want to travel towards you, okay? So they want to have this conversation. They want to send you a message with the Page of Pentacles here. Pages are messengers, but they are taking their sweet time, you know, doing this. And, you know, Earth energy is very slow. It's very slow, but the message that they want to send you is very stable. It's very true. And, you know, it's Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So yes, they want to. They definitely want to message you. They want to talk, but they're so afraid. They're so afraid that you will reject them, Aries. Okay, they're so afraid they're going to miss this opportunity with you, but they're so scared to open up. And this is because they are concentrating on past hurts here. Okay, they are. They can't see the opportunity in front of them. It's like they think that you don't realize 
that they are your soulmate, but I think that you do. And I don't know why I'm saying that, but I think that you do. And they feel like, you know, one, you're definitely connected somehow. You know this person, okay? And they want to, you see how that hand is reaching out? They want to make contact with you. They want to reach out to you, but they're scared that you're going to reject them. And it's because they've also been very hurt in the past, not necessarily by you, but we have temperance here and this is Sagittarius energy. They want um, a reconciliation with you. They want an open, honest conversation with you. They want to find a peace and a balance with you, Aries, okay? And I do believe that they honestly love you and they want to tell you this. They want to tell you they want to reconcile with you. But, you know, they have this fear that um, you're, you'll reject them. Okay, so that's how they're feeling about you, Aries, okay? So, I don't know. It's a pretty clear story there. So if this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. And again, thank you all so very much. From the very bottom of my heart, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Take care and God bless.